This video is about the great Benny Richards and the binoculars he uses on Lone Star Law. Hey YouTube, hey. I want to do a review and a shout out to my favorite Texas game warden, Benny Richards, who uh, we've learned several days ago is going to retire after 25 years of service to the state of Texas and to Hunt County. Of course, Benny Richards has become famous from his work and merit and the ways he has served Texas and more recently over the past uh, several years on Lone Star Law, the hit TV show. You know, I think there's a lot of people out there of all ages, of all backgrounds who love Benny Richards and love his uh, colleagues on that show. And, you know, we can't have everything that Benny Richards has, but there's one thing we can get, and that is his binoculars. So I'm going to um, show these binoculars, which are the exact same ones that Benny Richards uses in the show. You know, on that show, they're always prominently showing Benny glassing with binoculars. They show the binoculars on his seat. They show them on his dashboard. They show him using them. And they never tell you, like, hey, these are the binoculars I use. This is why I like them. But, you know, it's always struck me that Benny is, uh, you know, the kind of guy who's going to use something and like something. And it's like, that works for me. And I use it because it works and it performs. Well, these binoculars that he uses are specifically the Nikon Action, if I'm saying this correctly, Egret 2. They're 8 by 40 um, The last time Nikon made these was back in 2005. They were replaced in 2006 with a newer model. These binoculars are fantastic. And they have a, a model called the 7 by 35 Naturalist, which is in the same series as the, this. It's a 7 by 35 Naturalist uh, Model 4. It's marked with an IV. But they have a uh, smaller barrel up here that's not quite as long. And the barrel on the Egret 2 on the show, and I'm going to show you some, some uh, still shots that I'm going to add to this video. When Benny holds his binoculars, he holds them like this, and the barrel slightly sticks out. And on the 7x35, the barrel would only go out the width of one finger. See, it'd be like here. But um, never do you see the term Egret 2. Never do you really see the term Nikon, but see the way this is curved right here? It looks like the letter V, like this molding, or the letter U. In the case, that denotes this version of the Egret 2. And these binoculars are not difficult to find on eBay, but I bought this pair on eBay, a 15-year-old model, and I got them for $56 shipped. I've seen them sell for as high as $100. This is a very nice pair. And the view out of them is fantastic. What's interesting is if you look at them online, I'm going to get my scale here in a moment. Online, they see the specs for this exact model is 27.65 ounces. Um, but they actually weigh in right at 26 ounces, which is 1 pound 10 ounces, which is not bad on these. And... They're very clear, they're very bright. They have the best sight picture. They're phenomenal. Um, this cap here on the front unscrews, see? And you can mount a, a tripod mount. So if you're ever looking at these online and you're like, I want the exact same binoculars Benny Richards uses, sometimes this cap will be missing, that's okay. Um, you can mount your... Um, tripod to it. I believe Benny, when they typically show him with these, his um, his cap is missing and the cap would say Nikon on it. But it's this model. This is what he's always using. And so I bought these because I've been looking for a good pair of binoculars and I was thinking, you know, I love Benny Richards. I love Lone Star Law. I love Texas Game Wardens. I want the exact binoculars that Benny is always prominently seen looking through on the show. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to get. That's what I want in my truck. 
I don't want the ones like his. Like, I don't want the 7 by 35s. I don't want the 10 by 50s. I want the exact ones. And that's what these are. So, Benny, I'm going to miss you on the show. I know Texas is going to miss you. I wish you nothing but success and happiness. I hope Nikon will reach out to you and say, I want you to be our spokesperson for our binoculars. Um, Nikon makes great glass. They have great binoculars. And people are going to, you know, if Benny told me I use this binocular, I'd be like, well, I want to buy those binoculars. If Benny said, I use this type of rod and reel, I'd want to use that type of rod and reel. If Benny said, I use this brand of picante sauce, I would, you know, buy that brand of picante sauce. So, I'm going to show you this on the scale real quick, and then I'm going to show some um, still shots I've taken pictures of from Lone Star Law that shows Benny with this exact unit. And I hope... If you love Benny as much as I do, you'll look for these binoculars and you'll find them and buy them. And it's not to say that if you don't get these exact ones, you're not getting a quality Nikon product if you purchase Nikon, because Nikon's great. But if you want the exact ones, it's these. And the last time they were made is in 2005. And they're phenomenal. Okay? Hold on for more than I'm going to add right now. First things, we're gonna weigh them. Use my food scale I use with Weight Watchers. Look at that, one pound, 10 ounces for the binoculars. Now, some people will say that higher weight you see online, that's with everything, and I mean, maybe it is, but with everything, it's not what you're holding in your hands when you're glassing during the day. Even adding the lens caps, takes it to basically 26.6 ounces. So that's something to think about. I just think it's interesting that, um, I don't know how Benny chose these binoculars. I don't know if they were issued to him. I don't know if he like, you know, tried a bunch out at a place and then bought these. But if you look for reviews about this particular Nikon, Egret 2, there are multiple reviews from astronomy clubs and bird watching groups that say this is the best unit to get, specifically these Egret 2s for those applications for astronomy and for bird watching from a uh, budget minded perspective. And that's important because I'm pretty sure Benny was like, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm hard on my gear because the job I have, I'm out, you know, enforcing. Um, the rules of the state of Texas and protecting our wildlife resources. And as such, I need a pair of binoculars that functions and is great, but also doesn't break the bank in case for some reason they get lost, stolen, damaged, who knows what, the kind of things he encountered. These are just great. They look great. They look when you look through them, they're fantastic. And you're just like, man, these are Benny's. This is the exact same unit Benny uses. All right, here's the still images from Lone Star Law with these. Notice when you're looking at it, notice once again how these fingers will be here when he holds it. See? And also notice um, these grooves right here, the molding in it. And you'll know, you're like, that's them. There's another identifying feature of these binoculars to let you know these are the exact ones Benny uses. See on the Nikons here, these grooves in the front. On later models of these Nikon actions, on the left side, as you view it, it would say Nikon, and on the right side, it would say action. But here, it's just these grooves, these indentations, see them? So this is the only model unit or series of Nikon actions where they would have the grooves here and then these grooves in here shaped like the letter U. See? And uh, I'm going to attach some images here in a moment from the show that lets you know these are the exact ones he's using. 
So this is Benny from the front holding the binoculars and you can see those grooves to the left and right of the tripod mount. Here are the binoculars on Benny's dash. This is an image taken from Lone Star Law. Notice that grooving and the molding. And here's an image of him looking through them. This is from season eight. Notice the two fingers on the barrel. Notice the tripod mount adapter. Here is an image of Benny from the side looking through the same binoculars, these Nikon Egret 2s. And I know this is just a great way to honor him. Everyone should run out and go get themselves a pair of Nikon 8x40 binoculars and use the same binoculars Benny has been using for all these seasons. Uh, these are images from the Nikon manual to help you identify them online. Thanks for watching.